don't know if it's just me being a bit dumb, but I've just discovered the opening system that light chests have got in. So whether this is something new or I've just stumbled across it, I don't know, but it's really, really fantastic. So uh, what I want to do is like explore, like I'm just using this as an example. I wanted to explore this opening, the Karakhan, this Brea uh, variation, because I'm sort of fed up of playing to sort of Black's tune and like going into the main lines. I can play these, I've played these, and I know they settled pretty, pretty well. Uh, because the lines are, are pretty, you know, seem pretty shallow. But I, I don't want to really go into that anymore. What I want to do is experiment with another opening. So I was looking at this Breya setup, which, you know, like Chessier says, the unambitious Breya variation. Well, I can imagine why that's the case, just playing D3 and just holding on to the e pawn. But what I'm interested in doing is trying to get my favourite setup, which is basically ish a D3 Roy sort of system. Uh, and you know castle and hopefully at some point see the pawn coming to e5 and then i've basically got a royal lopez so that's what i'm sort of fishing with and i'm experimenting with it but like i said i've just discovered this setup where if you click on the opening in blue let's see if i've got that on the page no i haven't so i'll change that wait a second yeah this bit so if you actually click on the opening here, and right click, open link in a new tab. What you get is this new page. So what you get is uh, this pops up in a new window and you get the, you know, the a brief overview of the opening verbally taken from modern chess openings. And what I like about this is it's from, you know, bullet to correspondence, a thousand to two and a half thousand. So this is what club players are playing. And this is the percentages that you can, you can see the sort of things you're, you're going to get in the game. So after... You know, this D3, I've quickly looked over the opening through, you know, I've watched a video on it and I've, I've played over the master database and I get the general idea. So I know kind of thing what I'm going to be doing, aiming for. But what this is really good is really good to predict what Black's going to do in return. So I can start working out, you know, the chances of of, uh, of getting particular lines. So if you're looking at this one, overwhelmingly club players respond and probably top players as well with D5, you know, which is the typical move, Karakhan. And then, you know, 5% looking at this, you know, just just playing at D6. Uh, and then, you know, 2%, 1% bar that. So basically, I know it's no point in really looking at anything else apart from D5. I mean, if black does anything else, you can just carry on with the main sort of setup. So after D5, then you can see you know, the percentages which uh, white responds with. But, you know, visually, rather than having to sort of look at the database, and try and sort of calculate it. It's, it's done it for you. So in this position, you know, this thing seems a bizarre move. The, the correct sort of setup on the idea is to bring the knight to d2, right? So the idea is maybe should have run through this quickly before, but never mind. The idea is that if uh, the pawn takes an e4, we recapture with the pawn, so you know the queens don't get exchanged, and you can do either. A Fianchetto set up, but I'm going to do the, the bishop to e2. Uh, so, anyway, you can basically just use it to calculate percentages. So, in this, looking at this, they get a little bit of a split here in this position. e5, I'd love to see that on the board. Absolutely no problem. But mainly, uh, black's going to take 44%, 23%, 15%, 7. Of these, is anything going to cause me any problems? Uh, possibly not. Maybe knight f6. I need to know what to do against knight f6. So the main thing that I need to look at is takes. Is I'm going to say like 44% of games, and then you know so I can basically use this as a tool to decide to determine you know what sort of things your opponent's going to play, and you can sort of calculate you know roughly what you really need to know and what you need to sort of look at. So this move, knight f6 strikes me as something I need to know what to do. It looks like I want to push, but I don't really want to do that. If it can help it. So let's let I mean the main line move here is going to take with the pawn. So let's just look at so for example this one. What would be the best move? And you can click on that. And you know you can return to the main database at any time. But you know you can have a look at the correct response. So uh white just continues and you get the winning percentages with 9f3. Right in this point. So now I'll be worried about immediately taking what would happen if uh, black just immediately takes? So let's just go there, which is what I want to do. 
and this is a variation. Not really a problem. Let's have a look. Sorry, this is keeps chips jumping up to the start, but there we go. So, yeah, in either case, really taking back with Knight. D takes E4 is the main one. Well, you can follow the line and you can sort of play around with that. And you can do that up here as well. So you're putting the moves on this board. So let's just have a look from this point of view. And I like that setup because I've maintained my pawn at e4. And I'm just going to bring my bishop out somewhere, maybe a castle. And I've got my sort of d3-ish Roy sort of structure when uh, black sort of breaks with d5. So I really like that. So that's that's one way just you know, playing around with the database, looking at stats. But then you've also got this, example games. You click on example games and it brings you up, you know, it looks like the top rate, rate of players. In, in that sort of uh, variation. So we've got, you know, 3,000 rated players, 2,700 plus, you know, sort of masters, 3D masters and things. So you can then just sort of play around like this on this multi screen. And I really like this one, you know, because you can do several moves at a time in the same position. And you can sort of play around looking at different variations. Yeah, you know, this is fun. <laughs> I really like this. So I've no idea how long this has been going, but I'm really happy to find this idea. Uh, you know, you can have a look sort of like obviously i'm just doing doing for this real quickly the purpose of the video but i would be studying you know what are these top players doing in this position and i've got a nice little overview really really like it again walden light chess absolutely superb system so all right so i just thought i'd share that because i found it and i thought you know this is really really good uh really really good stuff okay thank you take care